everybody, you're watching Cole the Corn Star. If you guys just so happen to like the video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. It's a hurricane out here today. Windy, windy, windy. We need to take the Geo. And we're back to the main heated shop. Geo's parked over here because it needs a bath. Badly. Lately, a lot of you guys have been asking me about this car. This is not our car. This is one of Cooper's friends, so that's his doing. I'm honestly not certain of the year, but it's a Honda F-150 Ranger. The Cole the Corn Star Edition. I like it. Okay, I need to fill my Geo with gas. Power wash it. Now we'll pull it in here because I got some servicing I need to do. Like I said, Windy. I didn't film it, but I did wash it. And yes, I still need to get new hubcaps ordered. I wanted to uh, give Mama Cornstar a really, really big thank you. She came down here and she's been helping me this morning work on the planner. She's been holding some bolts and nuts in. Thank you, thank you very much for that, Mama Cornstar. I know you got a lot of things you're trying to do. So it means a lot to me. Thank you everybody too for coming along and watching the journey. Ah. Man almighty. Shop's kind of cluttery today. Doing good, Dad, doing good. Just got a bad news call. Apparently the planner somehow unfolded itself when Cooper was driving down the driveway, so he's stuck. I'm bringing him the folding box. Hopefully that works. Yeah, that's not good. So what happened is it somehow came out of its little cradle. This tire somehow dropped. Luckily it did because that tire is keeping the row unit from hitting the ground, otherwise those would have got boogered up pretty bad. Gonna go grab the skid loader. Every time we get a new piece of equipment out for the first time, some little quirk always goes down. Better to figure this stuff out sooner than later though. Well, well, well. Let's see what the boys got going on here. Usually it's me comes to the rescue. That little girl takes up some room. Man, that case looks nice. We made it safely. Good job, Coop. Natalie and Neva will have to pay attention to this when they're out planting this year. Not happening. Well, we got the 340 outside. I want to take the air hose and blow out all the trash around this exhaust pipe. How we doing, Cole? Got my fresh cut. Looking a little moppy <laughs> up top. I decided not to do the lines. I didn't want people to be that impressed by me. Plant your garden early. This looks so much better. We have to make sure we keep this area clean because corn stalks and stuff get piled up in here. Corn stalks can catch on fire really easily. And that bad boy gets hot. Combine the two and we could have a fire on our hands. That is not what we want. It's good, Cole. It's time to start tearing into some closing wheels. We gotta take 24 of these assemblies off and we gotta put 24 new ones on. When you say we, are you talking about all of us or just me? I kinda like it when it's we as all of us. I suppose that means I gotta help. Putting Cole under pressure to see what it feels like when the camera's looking at him. What do you think, Coop? Gonna get all these puppies off? Take a while. Natalie, you ready to get your hands dirty? I'm looking at this buddy seat in the 340. This seat back is literally only seven inches tall. Hey, I've pretty small hands and it's about the height of my hand. So parts of me are like, do they make a bigger back to a buddy seat that I could put on here? Or do we need to possibly take it off and bring it to an upholsterer so they can reupholster it into a bigger buddy seat? Because that thing is not comfortable. I haven't sat in the buddy seat, so I didn't know what it felt like. The buddy seat is one of three things I don't like about this tractor. The other two being trash getting behind this exhaust pipe and the fact that all those hydraulic lines are trapped under the cap. Somehow we gotta figure these out without pinching our fingers with these springs. These these springs here have a lot of pressure. The average guy couldn't move them, so I just don't want anybody to get their fingers pinched. Whoa, 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 careful there now. Hey. I'm bringing a chair over. Ugh. Everything on this planner is metric, so it kind of fools me a little bit. We don't mind stuff being metric. It would just be nice if everything was one thing, because some stuff's standard, some stuff's metric. It gets really frustrating when they have both types on the same piece of equipment. We got all the hardware laid out for each row, so now we are ready to start taking each row apart so we can put the new stuff back on and get the old off. <sighs> you figured out how to get this apart yet? I think so.
Like I've said it before and I'll say it again, when it comes to a lot of this stuff, we've never done it before. So we have to scratch our head until we get it figured out. One done, 23 to go. everybody today I'm taking advantage of my bread machine here's my bread machine all you do is you put the ingredients in in order as it says and I'm going to use it I'm actually gonna make just the dough then I'm gonna make another recipe called scamboli right now I'm making the dough hey Nave somebody has your motorcycle hmm hard day at work hard day at work but we're gaining slowly. We've got a good team working today though. We got Cooper, Natalie, you and me right now working on this stuff and it's working really well. It took dad and I 28 minutes to do the first row and an hour after that, we did half the planner. So it just shows, once you learn how to do one, it really accelerates the process for the others. So this is what the finished product looks like. The closing wheels will bolt in right here. We don't have the closing wheels, so that's why they're not on there yet. We just have half the planner to go. Natalie, have you ever done something like this before? No, it's probably the dirtiest my hands have been in, since I was little. Your face too. Is it really? Great. This is pretty much where anybody could do it, don't you think? It's not hard, you just gotta know how to do it. So what I'm doing is I'm going ahead of Daddy Cornstar and I'm putting these on, but they're still loose. And then Dad's coming in, he's tightening them up, and then he's putting the handle in with the spring. It's looking pretty good. And I'm getting hungry! Do you know what my favorite time of the day is? 6.30, hands down. Get it? Guys, I just want to take a moment to appreciate the organization and efficiency we had today on Cornstar Farms. We got the whole planner done. As done as we can get it today anyway. Looks like we got a bunch of old parts now. If anyone wants to buy the old closing wheels, let me know. How do you think we did today? I'm, I think we got a lot done today. I'm real happy and it was very nice of Natalie to jump in and help us. And Cooper, thank you very much too. Mama Cornstar put a lot of help in it too. So I really appreciate that. It was nice visiting with Mama while we were working on this. You helped a lot. Yeah, I think we got a lot done. So I'm very happy. It's coming along nicely, except this one row. They sent the wrong bracket. So we can't put this on yet. But other than that, went together really well. We have one thing left to do on the combine. We need to change the oil in one of the gearboxes. And then we're gonna pull this out of here bring it over to the main farm and then we're gonna do what well hopefully bring our other little john deere tractor over with the other planner and try to squeeze it in here too because we got to do some work on that one too for the closing wheels but i'm just looking to see how we're going to get everything in here but i think we can do it the old geo needs waxed a cab cleaning probably wouldn't hurt either i was also doing a quick belt inspection and the power steering belt is pretty much toast so i need to get a new one ordered so i can replace it happy birthday <laughs> That's right guys, it's Anna's 13th birthday. It's supper time. Pizza burgers, mama corn star style. Normally I'd use regular wax, but I found this speed wax stuff, so I'm gonna give it a try. She's not looking bad, but I like to wax my car at least once a year, that way I'm protecting the paint. That way the Geo's got a lot of life left in it. That's right. So I don't know if you guys can notice or not, but if you wanna know if it's time to wax your car or not, just look at the paint. Right now I can see a bunch of little swirls on it. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but when you can see those swirls, it means it's due for a good waxing. According to the directions that I never read, it says to spray it on, then wipe it off with the rag. Feels smooth, but I don't know. Oh yeah, Neva, way to buff the car. Look at that shine. Looks pretty good. There we go, guys. We got a lot done today. It's a good feeling when you accomplished what you set out to accomplish in a day. Now we just need parts to come in. Since we're basically at a standstill with what we can do till new parts come in, I guess this makes a pretty good spot for us to end the video. Remember, if you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, ideas, Write it down in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe. And after you click the subscribe button, be sure to hit the bell notification. That way you'll be notified when I post a new video. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you in the next one.